welcome to the last section of the course. We've now learnt all of the techniques we need to finish our e-commerce bookshop project. To recap, we've created a responsive template and some design patterns in a project agnostic way so we can use them for a range of e-commerce projects. We've done some customization of these assets in the previous section, creating a book listing. Next, we're going to continue the customization. Uh, we're now going to populate some further pages with some product listings, and then we're going to create some custom widgets to populate a product detail page. We'll then share our pro prototype on share.actio.com and test it on a mobile device. For the demo of the repeater widget, we just created a list with some books. We've got the viewport open here. We're now going to open the content panel and rename the state appropriately for this selection. Uh, let's rename this to children's. And we will open that state. We're going to amend the page title appropriately. OK. Next, uh, we're going to create a best selling list. We'll use this selection for the default page. So we're going to move this into the default state position for the content panel. Up. Um, let's open the best sellers state now. Double clicking. We'll rename this page title to best selling books. And we'll delete this dummy text. From our widget library we created uh, in the last section, we're going to drag out our media list widget. Uh, put it 60 pixels down, for 50 pixels down from the top. We're going to rename this repeater as Best Sellers. We'll double click uh, to open the repeater edit view. You'll find a file called bestselling.csv in the code pack which has the required data. It's open here. Uh, we're going to control C to copy it and control V in the top left cell to paste. We're going to use the generic book images we used for the children's listing. So we can just copy these from that repeater. Highlight and copy the image values with Control C from the data set. And go back to the best sellers repeater. And paste in the image column here. Last thing we need to do is add the case to populate these image values into the image widget in this repeater. Open the repeater interaction tab. Double click case one to open the case editor. We want to set image. The reason there is on the image widget in the best sellers repeater. Same as in the last section. You can refer back to the previous section if you feel you need to. We're only going to set the default value and we want to set it to a value so we can query the data set. Click the effect button to insert the function. And we want to select the image column from the repeater data set. Okay. And if we look at the best sellers panel state, we should see our images appearing in there. Great. 
Now, for completeness, we're quickly going to do the same for another selection that we're going to call Classics. You'll find another CSV called Classics with more data for the final product selection. Back to Viewport Panel, where we can open the Content Panel State Manager. We'll change the state name to Classics and open this state. Change the page title to Classic Books. Delete the dummy text. Drag out a product list 60 pixels down. Drag out a media list 60 pixels down. Change the repeater name to Classics. We'll go into the repeater edit view and grab our new data values from our spreadsheet and paste the new data values in. Let's copy the image references from the best sellers. and paste these values into the Classics repeater. And lastly, we're going to add a set image action to the on item load case for this repeater. OK, so now we have three book listings. Let's update our menu to reflect the products we've added. That's coming up in the next video.